All right, so let us begin the anime news for the week ending January 20th, 2012. Starting with the announcement from Crunchyroll, they are uh, launching 1080p high-definition streams on Crunchyroll. So certain series will have high-definition streams, uh, including Naruto Shippuden, Bleach, Nisuke Monogatari, Hunter x Hunter, Prince of Tennis 2, um, and uh, over 20 other anime titles will have 1080p streams, which is very nice. Uh, obviously, not, not all of them will have that, because not all of them will make that available uh, online. Not all of them were, uh, were even probably produced in 1080p. But um, um, uh, Crunchyroll will, will offer you know, what they can that way. The other question, too, of course, is whether they're kind of upscaling 1080p, whether it's 1080p original. But nice. If, you, if you're looking at anime and Crunchyroll, you can get a really, really, really nice, high-quality version. Um, it is available to premium members right now, and uh, I believe, and the, well, there's no information on whether that's available to non-premium members at, um, otherwise, but it's five bucks a month, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, some licensing news, uh, as we mentioned earlier about uh, another, uh, Sentai Filmworks has announced they've licensed another, the, the anime series called Another. Um... It will be um, released digitally, and then on DVD and Blu-ray later this year, they plan. It's already uh, being streamed on Crunchyroll. So um, that's out there, available, uh, or in, in, uh, on Crunchyroll now, and will be available from Sentai coming soon, which is pretty darn awesome. Uh, Dragon Ball GT also premiered on uh, Nicktoons on uh, U.S. television this week, uh, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and then repeat at midnight. Uh, sequel to Dragon Ball Z, basically, Dragon Ball GT. Uh, they've already been running uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai for a while, so no problem there. Uh, but yeah, good, good to see the Dragon Ball uh, uh, GT is out there. I'm sure that, that'll get more fans. I mean, Dragon Ball Z certainly brought in a lot of fans at one time, so good to see uh, Dragon Ball GT out there. Maybe it'll get more more fans. Uh, TV Tokyo has uh, sent a legal request to a Chinese website, uh, a Chinese website called Yoku, I believe. Um, it, it's it's Y-O-U-K-U, but I'm not sure how that's pronounced in, in Chinese. But it, they're basically warning the site to take down some uh, uh, pirated anime that is streaming on Yoku. Uh, uh, it includes Naruto, Bleach, and Gintama, and other anime works that are uh, held by Kiki Tokyo. So, um, yes, other countries do go after pirates just like we do. Uh, meanwhile, a bit of a kerfuffle um, based on a place called A Comic Shop in Florida. I don't know if you've heard about this. Um, uh, a Comic Shop has this put up this ad called Obama Wants You to Buy American. And basically it's this big image uh, where if you trade in any uh, volume one of a manga, they will give you um, a, a an issue one of one of the new DC, DC new titles for free. So if you... You know, trade in a manga that will give you a DC comic for free. Obviously, this got a lot of uh, attention from various uh, otaku who are not all that thrilled with the implications that uh, they're basically trying to take people's manga away for, for, for DC. But uh, the funny thing about that is uh, uh, someone contacted the owner of the store, and he said, I'm, I'm not anti-manga, uh, we just thought this would be a fun promotion, is that if you brought in a, a manga, that, especially one that you, he didn't say this, but you bring in one especially that you don't own, or you're, no, not that, bring in one that you don't um, want anymore, you know, you trade it in for a DC comic, I think that, that's more the spirit of it, that you can bring in something and trade it, um, you know, basically a used manga trade for a new DC comic. So it wasn't meant to be malicious, but it, it was in slightly poor taste. Part of the problem, too, is that it was... Uh, partly paid for by DC Comics. They paid for 75% of the ad, and they approved it. Um, and it was uh, available as a poster and a flyer. So DC Comics kind of, you know, paid for an ad that looked like it was very anti-manga. So probably not the the wisest choice, but, but funny. I mean, um, you know, no big deal. Come on. We, we, we can't get too worked over, over such things. Um, but it's just kind of funny that there's, uh, that, that they said, oh, you know, Trading your manga and folks got freaked out. Or whatever. Um, uh, other licensing news: Funimation has licensed High School DxD. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, High School DD, whatever. Um, but uh, Funimation's got the broadcast, home video, merchandising, mobile, and streaming rights to uh, to the the um, uh, uh, to the series. 
Um, they'll be uh, simulcasting it starting January 23rd, so this Monday. And they'll be releasing it on DVD and Blu-ray, they plan. High School Double D, okay, thank you. Um, so yes, High School Double D will be made available out there. Uh, that makes sense because of the, the etchy nature of the show. So yes, more licensing. So, again, good to hear that things are getting licensed and, and brought out there. What else? Uh, Kyoto Animation has announced that their next anime series called Hyoka, which is a, a mystery series, will be released in April. So it'll be a spring 2012 anime series. A This is the very much look forward to anime series by much of the staff of Full Metal Panic and, and other things. So, um, you know, good to see that. Uh, the director also directed Disappearance of Harry Suzumiya. So, good stuff there. Um... So, yeah, so Hyoka will be coming in, in the spring. There's not, not too, too long to wait. Um, also, another interesting thing, um, for those who think that, uh, that, that, that Bleach and Naruto and so forth have been going on for a long time, uh, Chibi Maruko-chan is a very popular kids' anime cartoon in Japan, going on for a long time. So long, in fact, that they will be um, airing in February the show's 1,000th episode. 1,000 episodes of Chibi Maruko-chan. It'll be a special one-hour episode about Maruko-chan's birth. And, uh, yes, that's that, that's the kind of stuff you get from kids' shows in Japan. They just go on forever and ever and ever and ever. Um, and that's by no means the longest. Um, uh, this uh, in, On February 5th, Sazai-san, another series, will be, celebra will be releasing its 2,144th episode, uh, 276th um, episode of the current version of Doraemon will run the same week, though the overall episodes are well over 1,500 uh, of Doraemon. Uh, yes, it's kind of kind of crazy. Um, case closed is at 644. Um, Pokemon's over 700. Uh, One Piece is 534. So, yeah. Uh, so, yes, yeah, Sazai-san is by far the longest-running uh, animated series in the world. 2,144 episodes. Crazy. But that's, that, that's, what, that's what they do. Um, no, the Simpsons are, are way less than that. Um, they're, 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 they're much less than, than that. Um, finally, let's talk about the New York Times manga bestseller list, because this is kind of interesting. For January 8th to 14th, the New York Times manga bestseller list, the number one bestselling manga, <clears throat> Shinji Ikari Raising Project, Volume 10. Followed by Dance in the Vampire Bun, Volume 11. Then, Naruto, Volume 54. Vampire Bun is outselling Naruto? What the heck? Now, granted, this is the second week for Naruto, Volume 54, um, and the first week for Dance in the Vampire Bun, but that's kind of amazing. Um, that's followed by Rosario Vampire, Season 2, Volume 7. Then, uh, Case Closed, Volume 1. Uh, Skip Beat, Volume 26. Then, Geki Daisy, Volume 8. Naruto, Volume 53. Uh, Jormungand. Volume eight and Maximum Ride Volume five. So, wow, that's that that's kind of amazing. Um, no, Sailor Moon's not in in in, in, um, in this list because this is for this is basically last week's uh, uh, manga release because we don't have this week's numbers yet. So that that will probably have have some uh, uh, it'll probably place somewhere on there. But that's that's pretty pretty amazing, pretty pretty darn amazing. That uh, Shinji Akari Raising Project number one is our. So, 